Alright, so I want to talk a little bit about color change, um, particularly uh, with OS6 and my prop file. So my prop file will actually handle um, color change individually based on the style you're running. Um, so there's going to be a, a kind of, I tried to get it all to work the same, so I've made some updates, uh, which right now they're on GitHub, they'll eventually be part of uh, 6.1 uh, when that update is made, um, which is based on testing, I made some modifications. Uh, but so there's essentially three primary uh, color change methods in Profi, um, and it depends how you set your style up um, and what, uh, what you actually use within the style. Um, and for that reason, I've made it so that my prop file for color change mode will uh, basically looks at the style and, and determines which of the three methods are supposed to be used. Um, now color editing, which is part of edit mode, is separate from this. So this is the on-the-fly color change. Um, color editing only applies to edit mode styles. So if you have older styles um, or if you have styles that don't include um, the arguments re uh, required for uh, color editing, you can't actually edit the colors. Um, so this is the on-the-fly color change, which is why your saber's on. So the, there's three methods. The first is the color wheel, which everybody's most familiar with. Um, that is applied um, if your style does not have any color change or color editing built into it um, automatically, or if you use the Rotate Colors X, um, which is the normal color change from OS 3, OS 4, and OS 5. Um, and that's what this style is. So in normal color change, um, you go into color change mode and it'll depend on one button or two. Um, but when you go into color change mode, as you turn your saber uh, like a dial, you're going to go through all the possible colors. Um, so we'll go in. So I'm in color change mode, and as I turn, I'm going to go through all possible colors on the saber. Um, and now an addition to OS 6 is the new color zoom feature. So I've actually made a few changes to this to make it work the same for uh, several uh, uses. but. Um, normally when you're turning the dial, it's pretty sensitive, so a little turn still makes a pretty big change. So what Color Zoom does is it lets you focus in so that you can get to a specific color. Um, because uh, the rotation is so sensitive that it allows you to go through colors easily, but it also makes it hard to dial a specific color. So like reds and blues and that, sometimes you get kind of hard to hit. So while you're in uh, color change mode on the color wheel, and then also show on color list, you can use a zoom. So to use the zoom, you just get near the color you want, and then you're going to keep, you're going to press and hold the power button. You're not going to let it go. And while you keep it held, you're going to be able to turn the dial. But what it does is it zooms in so that it takes a larger turn to make a smaller change. Um, and that lets you really hit the specific color you want. So we'll go zoom. And now it takes a much larger turn, and it lets me hit a very specific color easier. And then once you get to where you want... You just let go of the button, and that's what locks it in. So the you keep the button depressed while you're turning, and that lets you zoom in, and then letting go of the button will do it. So that's for the color wheel. Um, and then the second method is uh, color change, which is this is a specific style you can build in. So the color wheel is rotate colors, um, or it's default, meaning if your style has no color change capability, it's automatically applied. Uh, color change is a very specific thing where you put a color change style together and you tell it what colors you want. Um, and color change will only use those colors for that style. So in this case here, um, I've just set up uh, red, green, blue, and I've actually also activated the color change direct. So um, if you activate that, every time you click it, it makes one change. If you don't have color change direct active, it actually turns into a dial, but each turn will advance through a color, um, but so I prefer the color change direct, but so now when I do color change it's going to just go through the three colors that are built into the style. So it's got green and blue and then it's going to go back to red. So that's if you use a color change style, meaning it has the color change style built in, it doesn't use the color wheel and it doesn't use color editing, it uses the actual color change which is only the colors that you told it to use. Um, and that's also been around since OS 3, so that's OS 3, OS 4, OS 5. And then the final one, this is the new one. So for color editing, color editing is actually different than color change. Um, but we wanted to give it a way for people to do uh, kind of a, a version of color change on the fly with color editing. Color editing will let you edit every color. 
Um, so you can edit your base color, your alt, your blast, your clash, your lockup, your swing, your ignition, your retract, like all of the colors possible can be edited individually. Uh, color change and um, the color wheel, they edit all colors together. So it treats all effects the same. Um, with uh, the color wheel, you can actually tell it which effects to change and which not, but you only get one color change option. Um, with color editing, because we can edit every color individually, you have to go through the edit mode menu or you would use the Profios workbench, but we made it so that the base color um, can be edited on the fly in color change. So for this style, only the base color is actually going to get changed, and it changes it the same for all blades. That's the other piece of color editing. Color editing also handles each blade individually, so on top of handling each color of each effect individually, it also handles each blade individually, which just gives you a lot more capability. On the fly, it's going to use the color list. Um, so with the color list, it actually goes through 27 possible colors, but now I've added the color zoom capability to this as well. So we'll go into color change mode now, and you can have it say the colors. There's a define um, for the say color list CC. That'll let it say the colors. If you don't use that define, it plays the color change noise uh, sounds within your font. Um, so I have the color list active. And it'll advance through all the colors of the color list. Green. But if you want to dial a color in, Aquamarine. let's go near a blue. Cyan. Deep sky blue. Dodger blue. So if you want to use zoom now, I've added the zoom. This is new for uh, the version on GitHub. This isn't in the current. Uh, this isn't in uh, 6.0. This will be 6.1. Um, but if you want, from color list, if you hold the power button, just like in color wheel, you can go into a zoom mode that'll let you dial that U in. So even though the color list has 27 specific colors, you can still adjust off of it. And it's the same thing. You're going to keep the power button depressed while you're rotating, and it'll let you change that color. So I can turn and get to a more specific color that I like. Let's go a little darker on it. And then when you want to save it, you let go, and it will save that color. Um, let's go back in. I'll show you. Red looks a little better on camera, I think. Red. So I'm going to go for, let's go for an orange red. Orange red. But I'm going to use the zoom. And I'm going to, let's go brighter. I want to darken it. And then I can get back, even though I had red, I can get closer to a red, or I can actually go past red. And all I'm doing is I'm keeping the power button depressed until I get to the exact color I want and then you let go, and then that's going to fly your color. So color list is applicable to any edit mode style. That's because it has to have the style built to handle color editing. Um, it will change your base color, but now the zoom is going to be on there, um, and that now makes that possible. Now the last piece of the puzzle is because color editing and color change are actually different mechanisms, we can actually combine the two. Now, editing them will be different, but what we can do is we can have a color change style. So you have to build the color change style, but you can build the color change style, and you can use the base color and the alt color um, arguments to be able to choose which colors you want to toggle. And you could technically do other colors as well. Um, but So this just has two colors in it, and it's on a click to change. But I can edit these colors. So if I save, um, so if I go into edit mode, so that was just a red and a green. I'm going to go into edit mode. Edit mode. Edit style. Edit color. Color menu. Color options. Select effect. Base color. I'm going to change my alt color. Alt color. Select option. Color list. I'm going to choose color list. So right now it's green, red, orange, red, dark orange, orange, gold, yellow, green, yellow, green, aquamarine, cyan, deep sky blue. Let's do deep sky blue. Save color options. Cancel. Select effect. Cancel main menu. 
exit. All right, so now what I've done is this uses color change. Now, color change will always take precedent. So if you have a color change style, it's always going to take precedent. But now, instead of being a red to a green, I can actually do color change red to, to the deep sky blue and then back and forth. And this one has a back and forth mechanism. Um, in OS 6, there's also different ways you can do um, just even this mechanism of changing the color through color change. Um, but this one has a back and forth. You can also have a one way. Um, you can also have it be effect based or uh, you can have it be gesture based. There's a lot of new options. Um, but so if you take um, color change or some of these other new capabilities and combine them with color editing, you can actually mix and match a lot more colors than you could in the past with just simple color change or even the color wheel. Um, but so there are the three um, types of color change. My prop file will handle all three and it actually, so it gives precedent. The first precedent is a style that contains color change. If it contains color change, that's how the methodology is used. If it doesn't contain color change, it's looking for color editing. So color editing, if the style contains color editing, it will then use the color list with the color editing and you've now got the zoom feature. And then if it does not have color change built in, if it doesn't have color editing built in, um, it will look for the rotate colors X. Or, if it doesn't find any of that, it'll actually use the color wheel anyway. So, rotate colors X with the variation, or no color change at all defined uses the color wheel, which is your third option. Um, but you don't have to worry about it. It's just that the, uh, the prop file is actually going to check for you when you go into the on-the-fly color change, and it's going to only allow you to do the color change that applies to that style that's, uh, that's currently active. Um, and you can have different mixes and matches. So if you have a preset that uses color change, a preset that uses color editing, and a preset that uses the color wheel, just like I have, it will just modify depending on the preset, that, preset that's active. Um, but so a lot more capabilities, a lot more uh, flexibility with color change. Um, and I've made changes to the control, so uh, definitely read the new prop file when the 6.1 is merged. Um, or if you're in beta testing, you're going to use the GitHub version, you'll get the same thing. Um, I added the color zoom to the color list and I changed the controls for it. Um, and color zoom also works within the color editing mode um, and I changed the controls for that. Um, so now everything's kind of more lined up with each other. But uh, lots more stuff coming. Beta test is going well. We're doing all of our updates and getting everything sorted. Um, but lots more to come. So hope you enjoy.